and complicated, but I can break it down. I can totally break it down. So, Chetacella had a question about making a timer, basically. Bodybuilder, I don't know how to create a timer that can control a machine. Example, every 20 seconds, 10 seconds, execute instruction. Example, I need some generate, blah, 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 whatever. So, I've actually had the same problem. Uh, so, a long time ago, not long ago, um, this is like version 2, I think. What is it? Version 5. So, version 5, I wanted to play Rush. Rush. Unlimited resources. You get source blocks. Uh, you got to defeat the enemy as quick as you can. Um, so originally I was doing where you, the logic would identify how much material was in the container and then it would fill it if it was low. But uh, that ends up really like sucking a whole lot because the logic inside of Rush gets kind of like quirky. It stops working for some reason. And I found this a long time ago. Look at what's happening. This guy set this so that every second it's changing to a different material. So you never have to worry about like the sensors working right and checking whatever. You just have it flip through on a timer. Uh, the timer is so easy and so much fun. So here's a really simple timer. It every, I think one second, it goes to lead and metaglass. And then for three seconds, it goes to thorium. Super easy. This is the whole code. Um, I'll read it out to you and I'm gonna explain everything because I don't know if you like the explanations. All right, so you don't actually need this. This is kind of garbage. Uh, but timer equals at time 5,000%. When timer is less than or equal to 1,000, it's gonna jump to set the source to lead. When the timer is less than or equal to 2,000, it's gonna set the source to metaglass. And then if it's over that, so 2001 to 5000, it's gonna set the material to thorium. So one second on lead, one second on metaglass, three seconds on thorium. Um, so here is a more practical use of the same thing. So this is again for rush, where you can drop source blocks with megas and you just drop the source blocks and it'll cycle through all the needed materials. So this one is based on nine seconds so for two seconds, it's gonna go to, I guess I set this up funny, it's gonna go to silicone, and then for one second, it's gonna go to lead, for one second, it's gonna go back to silicone. Uh, this is a little more messier than I wanted. This is, someone else made this. But how does this work? This is so confusing. Let me explain it. There's a whole story. All right, so first, beyond logics, manual thing. This is amazing. I'll put it in the link. Um, he explains kind of easily what all these things kind of are. So at time, what does that do? That is the Unix time in milliseconds. So if I go on my awesome extension here, ooh, let me just add another set so we can see what the Unix time is. Clock equals at time. So we can see the at time thing is this big long string of numbers that's constantly increasing every millisecond. Um, Unix time, which is what the at time is, is the number of seconds, or in this case milliseconds, that have elapsed since January 1st, 1970. It's just a really easy way for all computers to use clocks and to put it into any program. So it's a number that's constantly increasing by millisecond. And that's really helpful because we can do this awesome operation here. So this percent sign isn't percentage. It's this thing called Modelo. Modelo. Oh, how do I even pronounce it? Let's check really quick. Modulo. 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 So we're getting the modulo. Uh, this took me forever to fucking figure out. Um, it basically shows you the remainder. So if I were to... Let's pause this for a second. If I were to take the current Unix time right here, can I copy this? I want to copy it. And if I were to put it into a long division calculator, and if I were to set my, so that's the Unix time is the dividend, and the divisor can be, let's say, it's gonna be 5,000, because this example, it's 5,000. And I go to calculate, Oh, I think they put in the wrong spot. 
five, one, two, three. Head in the right spot. Uh, enter dividend is there both ten digits or less. Oh, I can't do ten digits. All right, let's just take some digits off this. It doesn't really matter. Calculate. Um, as you can see here, uh, the modulo is going to be 2,361. Basically, whatever is left over after you get rid of all this extra stuff um, and up until 5,000. So if I do the short answer, it ignores everything except for the last four digits. It gives you the dividend. If you do long division, it's pretty easy. So 2,361. If we look at the bottom, 2,361. So it's going to keep increasing like a timer uh, until it gets to 5,000. So if I were to enter 5,000 as the last few digits, it'll be zero. Uh, so we can see the calculator and the Unix time are both the same for the last four digits because I've set uh, it at 5,000. 5,000 is actually one second. So that's where that comes from. So if I set it to 9,000, that's nine seconds. 1,000, one second. Um, yeah, that's basically it. That's how you make a timer. Yeah, timer equals at time, percentage 5,000. Give me the remainder of Unix time uh, up until 5,000 milliseconds. At 1,000 milliseconds or less, I want you to jump to lead. At 2,000 milliseconds or less, I want you to jump to Metaglass. If it's 2,001 up to 5,000, it's going to go to Thorium. And that's this code. I guess that's pretty easy, isn't it, to explain it? Anyway, that's how you make a timer that switches a source block or anything else. If you like this video, oh, this sounds so silly. If you go on Ministry and you make code and you love me, will you do this thing for me? Just put I love Bunny Builder in the bottom. I always check code on Ministry, especially in PvP maps. And if you have that in there, it'll just make my day. So just, just do that for me. All right, that's it. <laughs> Listen.